on this episode of Living the Dream. It's the opening day of Red Snapper season at the plantation on Crystal River. Captain Jimmy and Louisa waste no time in getting their lines out. And just like that, it's fish after fish for the next 48 hours. This is Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson. Presented by Salt Life. Live Salty. Doesn't get any better than Baja. This is awesome! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, boy! That's a kingfish right there! Woo! to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're out of the plantation on Crystal River and it's a very special day today. Today is the opening of red snapper season and I got a gag grouper to start it off with but she may have the right thing. We're about to find out. We'll see. Oh, uh, 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 it's the right thing. Oh, it's, oh, a, it's gag. a gag. <laughs> we'll take a gag too if it's a keeper. For sure. Not bad. You definitely got me beat on that first one. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's not gonna make it. Good fish, Louisa. Awesome. All right, I'll go ahead and get it back in the water. There it is, just a little too short. He's gonna take off. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna last long. <laughs> he was ready to go. All right, good double to start it. Let's try it again. All right. That's the kind of bend I'm looking for in the rod. Oh, if he's gonna be a keeper, he's gonna be just over. Probably 24, 25 inches. Came up a little quick. Yeah, yeah, he's not gonna make it. He didn't quite make it, but he took that live bait down real quick. There's a couple ways you can hold grouper too. I'll show you since I got this one in here. You see the way I'm snatching him out of the water? You don't want your fingers to go in those gills because that white part of the gill will rip your hand up. So you can hold it right here on the outside. That's one way to hold it, or you can take the hook out. Another way is if you grab right here, there's a groove above and below the lip of the fish. That big groove right there and right here. He's clinching down pretty good. So I can let go of the gill. You can also hold it just like that. After tossing those gags back, Louisa dropped down again and immediately she got hooked up. Here you go. Woo. Nice. Hopefully it's the red snapper we're looking for. I think he feels for. like a red snapper for sure. It's staying down, huh? It's staying down. He knows it's the, se he knows the season is open. It's a good fish. I see the flash. Whoa. Oh, oh, there's wow. your red snapper. That's a is nice that a first one. first red snapper yeah. for an opening season? Look yeah. At that. And that one will keep. Red snapper have to be at least 16 inches, and this one is definitely a keeper. Louisa got that fish measured and on ice, and as soon as she got back to the bottom, she was hooked up again. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this one caught me by surprise. And I think it's a red snapper, the way it's fighting. There you go, good fish, Louisa. Oh, yeah. The rod and reel combo that I'm using out here right now is a Maxell Platinum Series rod. It's five foot six inches long. As you can see, it's not a really long rod. I don't like the super long rods for jigging, and it's very lightweight, so it doesn't wear you out. And it's paired up with an Ocean Max 9 reel. And this jigging reel is very strong, very smooth drag when it's coming out. That's one of the things I love about this reel, and also the big handle that it has on it. It's very comfortable when you're fighting fish. Just gives you the torque that you need. You may want to check this out if you're going to be jigging for 
grouper, snapper, anything like that. I've also jigged for tuna with it and done great with the tuna so it can handle larger fish, but it's perfect for the fish that we're out here fishing for right now. So I'm gonna drop down and see if I can catch another red snapper. I'm not seeing anything on the, oh gosh. <laughs> As soon as I started digging, I was like, I don't see anything on the depth finder where we swayed to the right a little bit. Something slammed that ridiculous jig. There it is. <laughs> and what I got it on, you guys can see there, that's the 5.3 ounce real ridiculous uh, jig by Palomar Fishing. I'm gonna pop that out of him so he doesn't sling it into me. And that's the glow jig, that's the color that that is. Produced another pretty nice red snapper. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life, Live Salty, Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler, Sea Deck, your boat deserves Sea Deck, ACR Electronics, the science of survival, and by American Fishing Wire. Captain Jimmy is at his home away from home at the plantation on Crystal River. After an early rise, they head out on the river to open water. It's the opening day of red snapper season and Jimmy and Louisa have no time to waste. With the anchor drop, their lines were soon to follow and the action rose to the top. There you go, good fish. <laughs> Grouper are always a fun fight. But Jimmy and Louisa are here for the red snapper. All right. And so after reeling in a few more gags, they warmly welcome the sight of the day's first red snapper. In thinking that they were finally on the red snapper, Jimmy's next fish came as a surprise. He's right here on the surface. It's a little juvenile tiger shark. And there it goes. Well, I knew that wasn't going to last all day with no uh, wire on there. After that tussle with the shark, I ended up hooking into a cobia. He's right on it, but he's not. Oh, he took it. Got him. Oh. <laughs> not bad. A little cobia swam up to the boat and uh, <laughs> tried to splash me there. Oh, he did jump. I'm trying to land him here. Can I hand you this, Louisa? Can't do a whole lot with that, but they're fun to catch. Hopefully he has a big brother out here or something. Nice looking fish. All right. Oh, there he goes, you swam under the boat. Goodbye. And then the red snapper showed up. Good fish. There's a red snapper. <laughs> because I was dropping my bait to the bottom, we just moved to a new spot because the red snapper were a little small. We didn't want to keep releasing them. We wanted a couple to bring home. Start dropping this down. It didn't even make it to the bottom. And look at this here. Nice red snapper. And that's what we're after. Look at that. Nice red snapper right there. Pretty fish. World record on these guys is actually 50 pounds. Has a long way to go on a fish this size. Actually, I think it's 50 pounds, four ounces, something like that. And uh, let me pop this hook out of it so I have a little more freedom here without a sinker swinging. And one of the best tasting snappers you'll catch. Unbelievably tasty and pretty fish. Look at those red eyes, man. And then Louisa hooked into another good one. That was a nice hit. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, Ooh yeah. he's not done yet. He needed, oh, to, splash. It up. He needed yeah. to splash me a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the fight yeah. of the day so far. <laughs> okay, yeah, buddy. At least slams when they hit. Look, you got me beat by quite a bit. Here, let me help you get your fish in. The snapper were pretty much coming in two at a time all day long once they showed up. <laughs> there you go, you got me by quite a bit. So we just played some catch and release with the snapper. Well, there's the there double we go. just got. 
She's got mine dwarfed. Let's I got go ahead the and mom. Let that one go. You got the little baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're definitely keeping this one. We're waiting for so long to be able to keep these guys. So I'm super excited to eat them tonight. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Yeah. There you go. He's on. Nice. Oh, you got a good one. You got a real good one. I think we got what we came for. Oh, it's a good red snapper. <laughs> it is a good one, Jimmy. Love how this rod has like super nice flexibility. It can handle big fish, no problem. It's a nice red. Woo, well, you've been fun. destroying them today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and that's Louisa's fish. <laughs> Come on over here, Louisa. It's okay to jump in with your yeah. fish. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. I'm back here by the motors. Let me come in by you guys there. And another one. And another one. He was a little angry. Those oh. are always fun to fight. They're super, super strong and it's aggressive. It's almost too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by CNH Lures. Be a winner with CNH Lures. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. Yozuri, fish the best. Cayman Islands Angling Club. Come experience sport fishing in paradise. And by Tsunami Awesome Tackle. Got out here to the first spot, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up some of these thread fins for chum. We're just gonna keep them going in the water, try to bring up some red snapper and maybe some gag grouper. There should be plenty of red snapper in this area, and season just opened, so uh, that's mainly the targeted species because uh, we only have 40 days this year with them, which is more than last year, uh, but it's not a real long time. So we're gonna, you know, try to hone in on those guys and uh, pull a bunch of them in and have a good dinner tonight over at the plantation. I got him. I got him. Good job. I got him. Good job. Woo! Well done. Cool on. All right. <laughs> what a great way to start. No kidding. Just Woo! got to the spot and the Kobe are here. I think I'm going to try to bogey grip him just because mm -hmm. he's going to go crazy when he gets in the boat. Good job, Louisa. Thank you. First spot, first drop, and there it is. Yeah, that was really cool to watch him eat it. Got him. Woo! There you right. go. Good job, Jimmy. He's going Jimmy. crazy. <laughs> can give you some slack here. That's why I love Boga Grips so much. They, when they get them, they got them good. I'm going to show you something on a Kobe. Why? Being so careful with them in the boat, because they will scar you up and rip you up if they hit you wrong. Nothing on this fish is going to hurt you, except his back. I just want to give you guys a good look at what you need to look out for on him. See, he'll stick these up. These are just razor sharp by, there they go. They're razor sharp bones. When he starts flipping and turning, those come out of his uh, back. And if they get you in the leg, I mean, that is gonna hurt. It is not gonna feel good. And there's Louise's cobia. As soon as we got here, he was waiting on us. We're just over some uh, live bottom. It's a little ledge, holds a lot of red snapper. And that's what we're gonna try to catch here is a few red snapper. We got him, so hey, you know what? We're not gonna turn that down. Go ahead and release them now. All right, go up. You need another half an inch on you. After releasing that cobia, we started pulling the snapper in the boat one after another. Woohoo! Good job. I didn't even get mine hardly in the water yet. There there you go. Go. Look at that school of There's snapper. There's so many of them. Good fish. Yeah. Woo. You got that? 
Good Got job. It. Let me get out of your way. All right. Nice fish, Louisa. Mm, it's so cool. I mean, you can see him hit one foot under the surface. <laughs> it is too easy. We only have 40 days, unfortunately. Man, it would take us fishing every day for the next five years to even thin these things out. But beautiful fish. They only have to be 16 inches. So if I wanted to keep him, he's well over. That fish is well over 20 inches, probably 22, 24. But uh, nice fat fish, man. A lot of them down there. One of the things that was really cool about this day is that the snapper were staying on the surface for us. They made it very easy for us to catch. We didn't even bother putting a sinker on. We were just flipping bait back on a bare hook and just letting them hook up and catching them on the spinning rods. Fish on. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, there man. he goes. <laughs> so much fun. Do you want to grab him? I got a line in the water, but I'll help you get him in. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a double for sure. Woo! That might be a better one. All right. There it is. Another good one. It's almost too easy. <laughs> Woo, man. Nice one, Jimmy. Gosh. Fine eating right there. Woo. Well done. We don't even need to measure these. No, plenty big plenty enough. Big enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ugh. This is such a good rod for these fish, too. And the rod that I'm using is a Tsunami 20 to 40 class. It's the Elite Series. So I really love that series of rod. And I have a 6,000 shield reel on it. And one of the reasons I love these so much, too, is because they have such a smooth drag, even though I have this crank down, because I don't want these fish to run and get me down into the reef. So I keep them up high on the surface by keeping that drag tight right here on that gill plate. That is like a razor blade all the way down the side. You can see those little jagged edges, and it's, it's hard, really hard. And it's his lucky day because he gets to go back in the water. Goodbye. There it is. <laughs> Woo! It doesn't take long at all. There we go. I got mine now. There Watch you go, Jimmy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! And it came off. That's okay, because I was going to release them anyways. Another, Another one that does not need to be measured. Another good one, Louisa. Just offshore from the plantation on Crystal River, it's the start of red snapper season, and the red snapper are on fire. It was just moments before Jimmy and Louisa filled their limit, so they've been at a long game of catch and release. We were only allowed to keep two red snapper per person. We got tired of throwing them back, so I let my buddy John jump in and catch a couple so he could bring some home for dinner as well. Right, I'm hooked yep. up. This is why I like fishing with Jimmy, because it's nonstop action every time we pull up on a spot. <laughs> oh, John. Look at that, that's a good one. Now I'm on. <laughs> Thanks for bringing them to me. Oh, you're welcome. I like it. <laughs> oh, it's bait and switch there. Ugh. You guys see what else is happening. These fish are puking up these chunks of squid and the fish and the other stuff in the water. And what they're doing is they're continuing to chum the water for us. That's a good thing about reeling these fish up when you're chumming everything they're eating, they're puking up. Ugh. That's what I'm talking about right there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Snapper dinner, baby. Yes, Snapper dinner sir. at the plantation. Man. I'm almost hungry right now just holding this fish. <laughs> that's, that's where it's at right there. Mine's a little bigger. I think it is. <laughs> this one was giving me a hard time, too. <laughs> Good fish. Good fish. 
It's always amazing to me how easy it is to catch red snapper in the middle of the summer. The best time of year to catch the snapper is the winter time, and we've had no problem catching them, man. There is just so many of them out there. John, you in here with me? He ain't used to the TV thing. <laughs> we show you mean, that. there's more to this? There's people on the other there's side of that on TV this? watching this here. They want to see <laughs> these? <laughs> they do. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. Good fish, man. Good fish. <laughs> Boom. Cobra. <laughs> All right. Boom, there it is. There it is. Gulf of Mexico red snapper, it does not get any better than this right here. I'm gonna go in the frying pan. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. You can see that whole school starting to follow them. They're so curious, just like amberjack. You know, you just see the amberjack following each other through the water when you got one hooked up. The snapper are doing the same thing. Woo! Another good one. Okay, so as you can see, we had a very good day out here today. We actually got the camera guys in on some action, at least the ones who had fishing licenses. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys back on ice and head to the next spot and see what else we can catch. Woo! For more fishing and diving action, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Captain Jimmy Nelson. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson was brought to you by Salt Life. Live salty.